Hello and welcome along and welcome back to Charwell. Now, last time, last video, I asked, um, what do you want me to do? Do you want me to skip the last day of summer? Or would you like me to uh, go and try and get a load of contracts done and, uh, and see how far we get and how much money we've got? And the responses I got were, it actually surprised me a little bit. Uh, you guys want me to uh, to do some contracts. So that's exactly what we're going to do. So the aim of today's video is uh, to buy outright... To earn enough money in contracts to buy outright our trailer that we want. Now, there's a couple of trailers that we have. Uh, we've got a Bailey trailer here. This one is huge. Uh, but holds 21,700. So there's that Bailey trailer there. Uh, or, so, uh, sorry, that price for that is 21,000. Um, for uh, the Brohan triaxle that is 28,000 uh so uh that would be the right capacity for us as well uh the smaller bro hand would work as well but i'm gonna leave that um and then the uh the cramp so this doesn't have the right capacity uh it does like that but that is the silage one so we're not going for that one and so it's really between uh this one uh the power tube is the other one but this one's Fairly expensive for the size. So really, it's how many contracts can we get done uh, and how much can we earn from them doing it. So if we have a look here, we do have quite a range of contracts. The biggest one is Field 85. Now, we had a look at this last time. Field 85 is this massive field up here. Would probably take us most of the time. I think we're better off trying to grab a load of close contracts and uh, and doing that. So field 62 is probably our be next best bet. Now we're going to compare that to other ones. We've got 61, 62 is there. It's about comparable to the size of one of our fields. Uh, so I think that's probably a pretty good place to start. £6,000 contract. So we will accept that contract. We're not going to borrow the items. Uh, now, how much fertilizer do we have in here? Uh, we've got a little bit in the back. Oh, sorry, in the front. Uh, where's our indicator on this? There we are. And nothing in the back. So uh, we're going to have to go to the shop and uh, purchase some more. So in our pallets here, uh, we will purchase a set of fertilizer barrels. Buy that. Yes. There we go. Uh, we will open our shed and uh, and get cracking. Because we've been going for three minutes and not yet actually uh, done anything. So we'll take this round to the shop. We'll fill this up. We should have enough space to do this in here. Uh, and we're sort of going to be going uh, down to the field and probably filling up each time after we do a contract uh and it really is a case of how many contracts can we get done in time we're gonna probably uh cut uh between the middle of the contracts uh because otherwise this will be a lot of fertilizing and i think the interesting thing on this video is actually going to be what we do in between how much we fill up how much we spend that kind of thing so let's fill up this uh fill up our front tank like so and then similarly fill up the rear tank and is this we should have enough space oh wow we do need another fertilizer tank because we want to go in there with with absolutely full fertilizer every time thankfully this is not too expensive to uh to purchase there we go. And we will make way more money per contract than uh, than we actually uh, spend on fertilizer. So we want to make our way down to field 62, which is actually along the railway line. I think if we can get across... How do we get to field 62? Field 62 is available from this road here. Now, to get to that road there, 
Uh, we need to uh, head up, out, and round. Oh, wow, right round here and uh, up there. So that's the route we're taking. I don't think there's another route that we can do easily. We go down here, here. We can get... Yeah, we can get close. <clears throat> we can't actually get into the field from this point, I don't think. So, uh, yeah. We're going to have to uh, do that road there. So, uh, let's head down there and uh, and I will see you once we make it down to uh, field 62. So, field 62 is just down here on the left. It looks like a field full of pretty ready to uh, to harvest corn, to be honest. Uh, it looks like uh, one of the things Lance Boy has, has done on here has put an awful lot of fields with contracts. So, if you're... I know there's been several people asking on several maps uh, for contracts on uh, on those maps. Uh, this is a great map for contracts by the looks of things. We want to pull this right up. And we're going to go and get our headlands done first. So this should unfold. And we're going to pull this right above. Now I am hoping that this will actually spray. Um, because although we have a contract on it. Uh, yeah, no, it is actually spraying. Absolutely brilliant. Uh, so yeah, we have a contract on it. We are uh, just going around it. We can hardly get the uh, sprayer out the top. Uh, but it is at the very least working uh, from that point of view. And uh, and yeah, so we, uh, we can get this field done and we can make money on it. So uh, that is what we're going to do. It's quite tall and, uh, and we're going to make... Well, we'll make 6,000 off this uh, rather nicely. So, uh, yeah, I'm going to crack on and wow, do you get lost in this corn. Contract is done, uh, which is good because we are in the thick of this completely so let's fold this up get out of here and uh, and see where we are that's very good uh so there we go uh 6174 let's collect that and uh and yeah that means that we are up to 8459 now as i was saying uh, before we started this there are lots of fields on this map that have contracts, which is absolutely brilliant. I'm really, really pleased to see that on here. Um, it means that bits like this are really easy to do. Uh, now, I'm kind of ignoring this £15,000 uh, contract. I may go and do it later on because we're looking at lots of contracts that are just under four, about two and a half. It's going to take us a while to get that trailer if we go and do those. Um there is that cultivating contract down the bottom that's quite interesting. I don't think we own a cultivator is the downside to that. So, uh, yeah, we would have to borrow that. And that would take a big whack out of it to, uh, to lease the equipment. So I'm going to take on field 36. We're going to accept that contract. Field 36 is uh, back this way. Uh, it is actually 34, 36. It's up there. Now, I'm just trying to see if there's any way we can get up that way easily. Uh, there doesn't seem to be. We need to get onto this road here. Uh, so, we need to... If there's a way out of this field here, I would like to see if we can see it. Um, but, I don't think so. I think... The well, great thing about Lancey Boys maps is that they feel huge. Hello, what's that? Uh, that is the railway. Okay. And that is a solid wall. So we can't go that way. Um, we can't get out of here that way. I don't think there's any exit to this field down this side. So I'm going to have to head over to the main road. And, uh, and try and get out of the field at that side there. Because, yeah, as I said. 
I will be absolutely amazed, yeah, if there is any way out of this field on this side. So we'll just bug down the side of this field here. We're going to go round the bottom of field 64 and uh, and head back up to, uh, to where we want to get. Now, we can get out. No, there's a lot of hedge. Here we go. Out this gateway here. Onto the main road. And uh, back on with our beacon lights. As we head to our next field. And we've actually left our, uh, our arms raised. Which is a bit of a problem. But we should be able to get around this yard here. Which looks like a sheep yard. Yeah, we can, uh, we can get around the bottom here. And this will take us where we want to go. Uh, sort of giving a tour of the map as we do this. Uh, but yeah, I would love it if uh, I could lower these arms with this folded up. I don't know if the new... The, now, this isn't the one that's just recently been released on the mod tub. There is actually a newer version of, uh, of this particular sprayer. And I'm just wondering if that would work, uh, if that would give us better access. Now, field 36, I said, didn't I? Which is, did I see field 36 or 37? 36 is, uh, is up by the shop. It's the one at the back of the shop. So, uh, yeah, I've got to head back up that way. Uh, we are miles from it at the moment. So uh, I will catch up with you again uh, once we uh, once we get back up to the shop and uh, and that way. So if I remember correctly, I just drove past it. This here, I think, is the way up to field thirty six. Field thirty six, I think, is a field that we might have attempted before. Either that or no, field thirty seven we did before. Field 40, yes, here we go. Field 34 here has a road down the bottom of it. Let's just back our tractor off here. And if we head this way here, I'm hoping that we've got enough. We've got, uh, yeah, we've got a little under half a tank left here. But... Field 36 is this nice square field here. I'm going to get caught on that again, aren't I? Yeah, there we go. So we should be able to uh, to get this set up fairly easily. Let's unfold our sprayer. Right, so... However much I can put towards this trailer, uh, the better, really. We are at maximum height. And away we go. And yeah, this is a fairly square field. It's at an odd angle. Uh, but it is a pretty square field. So what we're going to do is we're going to set the GPS again. Try and keep on a fairly straight course for this. I'm going to turn off my beacons and go. And yeah, there we are. Nice GPS set up on this side. Uh, so this is the side that we will come back to and uh, and start going from. Um, at the moment, uh, I'm not too worried about setting the GPS because we are going around for the headlands. Uh, so, uh, yeah, let's crack on with this field and uh, get this knocked out and get ourselves nearly another 4,000. So coming to the end of this contract, uh, going fairly well, I think, with uh, getting these sunflowers done. Now, uh, being honest, I've had a big, long think about it while doing this contract. Um, we are not going to be able to afford these trailers or this trailer. Uh, and it's likely going to be the Brohan, to be honest, given the price. Uh, we're not going to be able to afford that. Um, without uh, 
getting this big contract done, I don't think. Uh, it's it's just a, such a massive cost to us. 91% uh, done here. Uh, but yeah, it's such a massive con uh, cost uh, in comparison. Uh, 22,000 if we get... Well, no, it's actually going to be this one here. 28,000 we need to get that. Even the cheapest, which is this Bailey here. Uh, which I'm not sure actually... Does that hold enough? Yeah, that does hold enough. So we could get that Bailey there. 21,000. We still need to do that 15,000 contract. So, uh, yeah, I think... Whoop, I don't want to fold that up. I want to lower that down this time. So we'll get out of the crop. Lower that down. Right down. And then fold it up. Uh, yeah, so we we kind of need to do this £15,000 contract. Uh, we have uh, money off that. But you look at all of these, 2000 2300 We are going to be here forever trying to do this. We just don't have the hours of the day. So, we are going to accept this contract. Uh, 15400 uh, 15,400 on 12,000 gives us nearly, well, it will give us the 28,000 that we want, uh, to get the Brohan, which is fantastic news. Uh, now we don't have enough fertilizer at the moment, so we're going to have to buy fertilizer. Of course, that then is not going to give us enough money to buy the Brohan, um, but still gives us enough money to buy the Bailey. If I can find an alternative trailer, because I think there is another Bailey trailer out there, um, then I will grab that. Uh, but, uh, yeah, we need this £15,000 contract to do this. Can we, and this is where the big question comes in, is uh, can we make, uh, can we do this with just one tra uh, one set of tanks full of fertilizer i don't know we are oh, we've managed to do uh two fairly large fields with though you know sort of over a hundred thousand uh, sorry over ten thousand pounds worth of contracts with just one uh one set of tanks on this i'm not sure it's enough though so we're gonna buy another one of these Okay, and hopefully that is going to be enough. So we've filled our front tank. Yeah, this should be enough. So we know we've got more than enough in just one set, set of these tanks. There we go. I'm just going to see how much we've got left. So we've got 300, 400 litres there. We've got 300 litres there. So another 700 litres waiting for us here. Should we want it? Uh, but right now, what we're going to do is we're going to head up to the top. And uh, and get ourselves started on this massive field. Um, should be too bad. It is, it is uh, yeah, it is east-west. Uh, it is fairly uh, straight-sided. So, uh, yeah, I think I think it's going to be a fairly easy 15 grand. Um, but it is, uh, as a result, it has got quite a bit of work behind it. Um, we're going to have to, as I said before, we're going to have to borrow a bit of money and hire the combine. That's a given. That's fine. Uh, we won't be using the hired. Uh, the re part of the reason why I want to buy a trailer uh, is because I don't want to hire uh, a trailer for doing all of the other uh, contract jobs that we want to try and get done on here. So uh, there is that. Right, we'll turn here. And this is the field that we're going to work. It is humongous. It really is massive, this. But we are going to be in a position... Where we uh, we should make a decent amount of money off it, and well, we're going to make fifteen grand off it, so that will be uh, fantastic with no uh, further outgoings with any luck. Uh, we're going to set a new GPS once we get going. Turn that on. 
Away we go. Set ourselves on the right direction, which is 270. Set ourselves a GPS course here. Like so. Perfect. And, uh, and yeah, we're going to knock out this headland. And, uh, and once we've knocked out this headland, we will be in a position to, uh, to get the rest of the field done fairly quickly, I think. Uh, I don't think this is going to be a long job. I think it's just going to be uh, a job that we, um, that we may not have enough fertilizer for. And that is going to be the big test of all. So uh, I will see you when we either run out of fertilizer or we get this job finished. So we've got the first headland done. Uh, and I wasn't planning to pop uh, back like this. Uh, but uh, I wanted to give a, a sort of a status report of where we are. We've got the headland done. We've been around the field once. It gives us... Uh, it has given us a 25%... Why is that not working? Oh, I know why that is not working. Right, we need to... Uh, before we could do... Well, we should be able to do cruise control without having issues. Yeah, cruise control apparently is not working at the moment. There we go. Cruise control is now working. Um, so, uh, yeah. So, we have used... About a third of our uh, fertilizer. We have uh, done about 25% of our field. Um, so, uh, yeah. That's uh, quite a bit of... That's quite a bit of a disparity to go between. Uh, we do, as we said, have 700 litres left. Um, that is more than a third of a tank on these. So that is good. We should have enough fertilizer in total and not have to buy any more. But it is, uh, yeah, it is stretching our uh, stretching our ability quite a lot. I think, uh, which is uh, which is intriguing. Uh, but I am amazed at, uh, at sort of how much it allows us to get done uh, because this is a huge field and it is just going to be time now. I think. So, uh, yeah, we're going to continue on. We're going to get to the point where we've run out of fertilizer here because I've got no way of transporting that other fertilizer up here. And, uh, and once, uh, yeah, once we run out, we're going to run down to the shop. We're going to refill and we will get the field finished off. So uh, I will see you in a bit. So we've just dropped under our last 100 litres. So at the end of this row, what I'm going to do is I'm going to stop us and we're going to head uh, back down to the shop and refill. Um, we're pretty far through the field. I mean, the 700 odd litres we have at the shop should easily cover uh, what we still need to uh, spray on here. Uh, yeah, I'm just hoping that this is going to make it to the end of this field. Uh, really, really hoping, and yes, we are. There we go. Right, so we will uh, take this off cruise control. That is all folded up. It's nice and low anyway, so that's good news. Uh, and I don't know if we've got an exit this end of the field. I do love in this field, in the next field over, which is not a field that we can actually play. And does have a load of bales in it already. In fact, yeah, here we go. Here's a gateway. Will this gateway open? Should do. Yeah, there we go. Uh, nice thing about the fast track as well, of course, is that this is not a long journey for us to go and uh, get the extra fertilizer. Uh, it's uh, at sort of 30, what, 40 miles an hour. Uh, we are absolutely caning it along here. Faster than any of the cars go on this map, to be honest. 
Um, our crops are looking really healthy. Uh, I'm looking forward to tucking into those next time. Uh, certainly, we're expecting one or more of them to come ripe. Uh, so that will then be uh, pick up the combine and get cracking with that. Still not 100% sure which combine I want to grab. Um, there's a John Deere. I actually have a John Deere on here that I'll show you in a moment. Uh, that is a 60 series uh, European one uh, that would do quite well. It is a lot cheaper than the class. I think the class, uh, the Tucano, is something for maybe us to aspire to uh, once we get, uh, once we're fully up and running after our first year. Uh, but uh, yeah, it's, it's an expensive combine for what it is. So here we go. We're just going to pull over. Well, let's get these, let's get these filling up and, uh, and then we can, um, there we go. And then I can show you this combine, um, that I've got in here. So harvest is here. The one I, the one I've been considering getting, uh, is this one, the Tucano 580. Uh, it's 348,000. It would cost us 17,000 to, uh, rent it. In fact, it's going to cost us a little bit more than that. Uh, it's going to cost us 18500 to rent it. Or there's uh, this one, which has been around for a while. It's an STS-60. Uh, uh, we don't need anything more than... Uh, well, it, we could do with a tank extension. We could do with that tank extension, which takes us up to, uh, to that. Uh, and, uh, and yeah, I think that is... Uh, that is pretty good. Uh, we don't need uh, any pipe, really. Uh, green star, because we've got the GPS on it. Uh, yeah, so we don't need a massively powerful one. Uh, probably a standard pipe on it, and it's going to cost us 10000 So it would save us 7000 to uh, to use that. Let's bring that around. Yeah, that's filling off that as well. Um, so, yeah, I'd, I'd be interested to see what you guys think. Those of you who are stuck uh, long enough in this video uh, for that, uh, let us know what do you think. Uh, we have filled up the back with that. That's good. Uh, let's crack this back to the field and just get this finished off. Um, but I think, I think that John Deere would be a good combine. Uh, we, of course, would have to hire a header as well. It would save us a bit of money uh, in that first year. And, uh, and yeah, it's a decent, nice-sized combine, I think. Uh, which would go well with us uh, and this JCB doing the karting. Uh, right, let's get this back up to the field, though. Uh, get this job finished off first. Get ourselves some money in. Uh, I think, actually, looking at that... That would give us the money, this this job here and getting this finished is going to give us the money to hire the combine. Uh, we then have to borrow the money uh, in order to um, buy our trailer. Either way I look at it, it seems to it seems that we will work pretty well under this. So let's bring this in here. There we go. Road is closed ahead, but we're not going down that. We're going to unfold this. And then we need to find out where in the field we are for this job. So uh, let's go into here. And it's just up here. There. I think we want to turn in here. Let's see what the map says. map pretty much says that's right. Yeah, especially when it sends me to this bit here. And cruise control back on. Cruise control back on and back inside and away we go. So that is pretty awesome. We're now 90% of the way through the contract. We have uh, 200 litres of fertiliser left. This is going to be a little bit closer than I would have liked. Um, that number is ticking down really quite quickly. Um, 
by the judgment of what we had earlier, there should be enough fertilizer here uh, to complete this. But it doesn't stop me being that little bit nervous that with 7% to go, we have 140 liters. Is just cutting it way, way too close for comfort on my part. Um, we'll see where we are when we've got 100 litres left. I'm hoping we've got more than 95% of the way through this. Or this is just going to be nerve-wrackingly close. We are 95% we are of the way through this. Oh, man. Don't fail me now, fertiliser. Please, please, please let me uh, make it to the end of this field. I think we're going to have to lower the spray rate because I don't think we've got enough fertilizer. 50 liters left, 97%. Oh, man. This is either going to suddenly complete or we're going to find out we are out of fertilizer. Now, I'm going to pop out because I want to get this exactly right with the edge here. 9, 8. Right, I'm going to cut that there. I'm going to turn us, and I'm going to start the last row. Oh, we are out. We're 99% of the way there, and we are out of fertilizer. That is annoying. Right, so, uh, yeah, that is, uh, that is the result of this, really. We are... I wonder if we have any fertilizer left at our farm. I don't think we do. We will go and check quickly. But that is disappointing, uh, to be honest. Uh, we are 99% of the way through this contract. We have just... Uh, I don't want to spend another... Whoa. 1,200 on getting more fertilizer. We're not going to use for a while. Do we have... Are we lucky enough to have some kicking around our farm? I don't think we do. I think it's all herbicide we have left at the farm. If it is, I think that's going to be where we end today. We are... We, we need to get that contract finished. Um, and I will probably get it finished uh, before next time, if that's the case. But that's just mad. That is absolutely mad that um, that we are so close, so massively close to completing this contract. And yet, uh, we just don't have enough. Let's look in here. What do we have in here? That is herbicide. That is also herbicide. That is seeds. So, no, we do not have any more fertilizer here. Uh, we failed to, to get it done today. Really annoyingly. Uh, and on that bombshell, that is where we are going to leave this video. Um, thank you for watching. I hope you have enjoyed this video. Please give it a like, drop us a comment, and give it a share. And for the latest videos from Virtual Farmer, please subscribe to the channel and ring that bell and i will see you next time goodbye